Alright. Alright. Oops, let me mute that. Move myself over here because I'm not playing seven days. <laughs> there we go. Alright, where I was on this one. Let's do this. A lot of people playing Lost Ark, man. That game looks pretty cool. I have to check that out. Looks very interesting. Final Fantasy stuff on there is pretty much calmed down, so. Wouldn't hurt to try something else for a little bit. All right, so I didn't do any story progression off stream, but I did do a bunch of like running around and doing random stuff. I don't know how much progress I actually made, but I was messing around just a little bit. Uh, so let's see, we got UV bars. We got some more of these trophies so we can upgrade that again. I should probably do my lock picks. Upgrade those. I need more infected trophy uncommons. All right, so we're not going to mess around. We're going to hop right into story stuff. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you There's so much stuff coming out, man. It's this and then you got uh Elden Elden uh Elden Ring and and Lost Ark is looking kind of interesting, so. Sophie, you wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the Craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. A certain transaction, huh? What sort of transaction? A certain transaction, hmm. Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are. So far, at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first, and we'll see where we go from there. Uh-huh. Tell me more about these Alberto guys. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, is kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. All right. Those crystals. What's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of a city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys. That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most I importantly, guess. they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Alrighty then. Well, you said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. From the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. <laughs> She is not wrong about that. Oh my god. I've been playing this game and I'm having a really difficult time caring about the characters or the story. You know, I'm I'm interested in the story. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft uh, masters. And, and some They're of the, the characters bizarre. do well. 
and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Some of the characters have gotten my attention, but most of them are pretty uninteresting, to be honest. I like her. The Carl dude is basically your typical religious nut in charge of everything, cut and dry. Uh, your companion dude, I don't even really know why he's there anymore. Like, I thought he was going to play a bigger role in the game, but he basically Someone just tells you what to war. do. I kind of like the PK leader dude. He's cool. Such a shame. <laughs> Very straightforward and doesn't bullshit you. And oh my God, that is a... Oh! Oh! Oh. I just... I just realized... <laughs> I literally just realized who this is. I I guess they wasn't messing around. So yeah, you remember that dude that I was talking to uh, during one of the other streams who uh, sold the poison water and and I said was a shit bag. There he is. <laughs> uh, all right. And they just they just leave him there, huh? This place is cutthroat. All right, well, let's go. Let's go see what we can do here. Back in the day, I had a huge and massive... Well, and... A workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. No one has better... Good... This dude is crazy as hell. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their... F fuckwits? Who? That fellow! Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. Oh, that's Sophie's and he brother? Asked the same question Barney? About a dark okay. zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So I still have yet to zone? meet Barney. It's a hundred... A uh, hundred and twenty... A uh, hundred and... Uh, Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. You said everybody's streaming today. Yeah, man. Today's a today's a good day to stream, apparently. A ton of people I, uh, I follow are streaming all at the same time on uh, on my feed. A lot of them playing a lost ark. Well, what did you find? Nothing. I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Fucking Herman dude is huge, man. I'm guessing he don't talk. What's Barney, up, Seth? Answer me. Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. So what happened to Barney? Didn't... Wasn't he supposed to be, like, a badass? Like, somebody was telling me about him, saying that he was, like, <laughs> supposed to be, like, a super badass or something. And we were, like, m making fun of his name and stuff. Well, I know why she blames herself. That's her brother, clearly. How'd so. Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. 
going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll How much you want to bet he's dead? Good luck. How much you want to bet he's dead? Barney is super dead. Mr. Barney is super dead. Uh, I guess I could fast forward tonight, right? Well, they gave me the option and then it disappeared, so I guess I won't be doing that yet. All right, let us parkour to our destination. Yo. Time, what the? Arrows and spears, and they managed to survive. Is that why wheels survive too? Truth be told, there were also herds upon herds of buffalo back then. But we'll survive, right? Sure. But it would oh hurt my God. to have at least one. Buffalo. Oh sweet Jesus! What the fuck is that lady doing? That what she calls singing. It's good lord. What's up, Angry? That's a side quest. I ain't got time for that right now. <laughs> okay, so I have to do this at night, which is fortuitous because this place is right next to it. So I can rest until nighttime. Then head right in there. Wait a minute. Let me check my gear. And the weapons and stuff I have are not great, but they'll do. Let us chillax until the night and go save or find Barney's corpse. I'm sure there's a corpse. Found a few little things. all over again. We're cleaning out a furniture store. All right, into the dark zone. Well, hello. These Sophie, places. I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Yeah, 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 I'm going. But first, I have to gather up all this stuff. Like these crystals. And these computer parts. And this garbage. Uh-oh. I see a body. Could that be our Barney? Well, you're gonna have to wait. Satsu's shopping for crystals. Wow, there's so many in here. Oh, yeah. That's him, he's dead. I knew it. Take that. Barney, do you hear me? Report in, Tamak. Sophie, Taden, I found a radio and a body. Male, white, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. Oh. That's Kojak, one of ours. Barney can't be far. I guess Kojak's not as important. <clears throat> oh, we get to do some investigation. What are you hitting the mic? Sorry, I have 
Wait, what? No. What happened? Well, was there weird sounds coming from the mic? Because I'm not touching it. Yeah, let me know now if something weird's going on with the audio so I can... Oh. Actually, I'll take those shrooms, too. Glad all these UV shrooms are around. Was something going on with the audio, guys? I don't know what that was referring to. Oh, it looks like Barney might be still alive. Oh. Hello. Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You were <laughs> Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Wait, Are why they? do I have to try to talk Go to them? Go back to where you came from! I could just put the walkie to the door and you can talk to him. Like, he can hear you. If he can hear me talking regularly, then he can definitely hear you through this walkie. Just put put it up to the door and tell him, like, hey, jackass. Like, why do I have to convince him when you can just talk to him yourself? Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, oh, this guy's a douche. I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Uh, I hate this dude already. Great. I barely even met Barney and I already uh, hate him. Yeesh. <laughs> What is this big old sword? <laughs> Holy crap, my stamina is terrible. Woo. You didn't need that head. time Barney making this way more difficult than it needs to be <coughs> open up 
Barty! Okay, that's it. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Uh, I mean, if he's just a kid, let's go. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend, and then come back for you. Got it? Hurry! Well, at least he... At least he seems to care about other people than himself. He's not a total douchebag. So we'll go find this kid. Footprints. Here's a handprint. Blood. Must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, let me let me check on something real quick. What happened to my uh I'ma bring up the stream on my phone just to make sure that the audio is fine. So nobody's answering me, so I have to check myself. <laughs> Just to make sure. Uh, here we go. Why can I not like watch my own stream here? Audio and visual good. Okay, somebody said something about like me hitting the mic or whatever, so I didn't know if there was like there was like any weird audio stuff going on or whatever. Okay. Welcome to the stream, by the way, guys. Hey, you find Bertie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Well, he must be fairly competent to get past all these zombies. Uh -oh. Leave me alone, I'm busy. I wasn't going down without a fight. Thank you for linking it. Probably just the game sounds. Okay. Thank you. I can hear him. He's singing happy birthday to himself. Yeah. He don't sound like he in good shape. I took out all those fuckers. Best birthday ever. 16 years old. <coughs> oh, dude, he's only 16. I oh, my God, look at this kid. Already. <coughs> Who are you? Holy crap, he's the only maiden. 16. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh, yeah, he did. All oh, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. <coughs> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... Over there, my radio. I have to call someone. That Here. is pretty funny, isn't it? Hurry. It's 
course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. Hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost. Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen, we got him. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Why would you do that to your mom? That's kind of fucked up. Barney, you there? Why would you let her believe that you're on your way back? Barney? Aiden, are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. What? Just arrived. He, what? He was supposed to. I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But why would he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Why would I waste my time trying to come save his friend if I wanted to steal the crystals? I could have just kicked his ass and took them. He had them. What kind of logic is that? This motherfucker just bailed on his friend and sent me to go look for this kid who he promised he would take care of. Oh yeah, Barney's a fucking bitch. That's some bullshit, yeah? He didn't fucking trust me. Even so, dude. Like, you were supposed to be looking after this kid. Oh, where'd he go? You ain't the one I'm looking for. Where'd that bolter go? Daddy. I'm starting to think basically everybody in this game is a piece of shit. He left that kid for dead, dude. And then sent a strength, sent somebody he didn't trust to go check on him to see if he was okay so he can get away. Like, really? Yeah, your brother's a, a decent, upstanding gent. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? What do you fucking mean, dude? You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. I don't disagree, Barney, but... the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You sound like you had something to do with it. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. Yeah, for and some you just reason, left him die. To see you. So go bother her. 
Oh, if I don't get to kill him personally, I'm gonna be deeply offended. Man. So like, fuck Sophie. I don't care. Like, I kind of like her, but I will fuck your brother up. Seriously, there's no time for delay. I will straight up kill him and not even feel bad about it. At least uh, the wife was good. <laughs> you know, motherfucker left a 16 year old kid to die so he can get away. And they're gonna talk shit to me like I'm the bad guy. The nerve. The nerve of this motherfucker. <laughs> funny how these open world games insist you follow their i mean i mean it is it, you can not do that like obviously there's tons of other things you can do but yeah eventually you'll have to follow the story because if there isn't one then what's the point of playing i guess but yeah i mean i i've as far as this game is concerned and the open world aspect of it i felt pretty free to kind of do whatever i want and I just go back to the story whenever. There's tons of side shit to do. Like, I I could have played this game for like four hours and not touched the story, really. Well, at least in, at least uh, until the, the tutorial, whatever was done. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Oh boy. Fucking coward. I know I, what you I think, can see where this is going. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Yo, fuck Barney. Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Well, I already know about the crystal situation. Oh, you know what? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... he wants Wait, when did he hear about bizarre, him? Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. What do you mean? I ain't never seen him try to help anybody but himself. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. <laughs> That's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Well, if they were so capable and you needed them so much, then why can't they provide themselves with their own crops? Why do they need to take your shit? Doesn't that, doesn't that logic follow? You're more capable than we are and we need you around, but you have to survive on our resources? Like, nah, fuck off. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Because of course Not they long did. ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mine the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, 
and crystals. Uh, we're taking, uh, okay. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. Yeah, why the They're fuck would they help, to help you? help themselves, certainly not us. They don't give a shit they about you people. They care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists. When she was still in charge here? Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. Sounds about right. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. No, So while he's in charge, bad we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. No, you're not. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. Yes, they and will. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. Nah, I'm I skeptical have to send too. To negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them. Yes. From a discreet distance. So hold on. So these people used to stay here. They got kicked out for running scams. They took over the water tower and threatened to blow it up. The only source or one of the main sources of water in the entire area. Just to get resources and shit from you. And you truly believe that you're going to be able to peacefully do a trade of items with them. And that's just going to be fine, huh? All right. I'm, uh, I am mashing X to doubt, but I could be wrong. But I feel like I'm definitely not wrong. Press R1 twice while performing. Tap R1 twice while performing a jump. Reach greater heights while jumping off of obstacles. Ooh, that's actually, that's actually pretty nice. I do like being able to jump a little further without hurting myself too, but this one just increases my forward momentum and agility. And then we have this. Perform a block to stagger your enemy longer with a slow one. And this one's the actual power attack. So I was right. The power attack is an unlock, unlockable thing. All right, cool. Oh boy, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be bad. Like this trade is not gonna happen. Like, I don't know. I don't know why or what possessed them to think that this is a good idea. But I promise you, this shit is about to go super Find south. You this shit is about to go super south. I guarantee it. Actually, I got some stuff I need to sell. Ooh, is this a katana? I wish the weapons in this game, like they all look interesting and unique or whatever, but for some reason, like the the magic, it's not there anymore. Like back on the old Dying Light, all the weapons like they had like impact and there were certain weapons you really wanted to use and certain weapons you didn't. And now they all just seem to be kind of carbon copies of each other with no real deviation. And I wonder, like, do they still have the unique, like special named weapons? Because I haven't seen any of those yet, either. What's up, Chicago, Mike? You ditched work. Good call. Good call. Much better to watch this stream instead of doing work. Yeesh. Work is for responsible people. Uh, Let's see. Let's make some more first aid kits. We definitely should make some Molotovs. 
So I got a feeling these are gonna come in handy in a moment here. We don't have any more lock picks for some reason. So let's make some more lock picks and we'll make some throwing knives. Cause I got a feeling it's about to get real. This thing. I don't really like two-handed weapons. Like I need to, I should probably like sell all of my two-handed stuff and scrap one-handed weapon. The two-handed weapons in this game, they're very slow and they don't Aiden? seem to be that Something much stronger up. than- Susie? You there? Sophie, we're under attack! Uh-oh. What? Susie, what's going on? Uh, I, I told you. Trap! Of course it was a fucking trap. Susie, Ralph, Aiden, hurry. Why am I up there? What are you doing? Everything we have. Oh my god. That was dumb. He wouldn't climb up the wall like sometimes. The parkour in this game does seem to function a little better than the last one. But other times they're just like yeah this thing that you do or you've been doing all this time it doesn't work now like you know how you can climb up surfaces but we're just gonna disable it like like this why can't he climb this i don't get it there's certain things that you can climb and then other things that look exactly like those things that you can't and there's no explanation So yeah, I see bandits. It was definitely a trap, by the way. Like I called. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it. I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all. Oh, I plan on it. I told you it was a trap, though. Like I don't know what possessed you to think that they wouldn't take all those crystals and kill all of your people, considering what they've done already. But yeah. Now, how many people did she send to die in this fucking trade? I see a lot of bodies down there. Wait a minute. <laughs> you didn't hear that? That's unfortunate. Uh, all right, skills. Do I have the little drop kick attack? I do. I have to. Look down at the enemy and hold L1. Is it gonna work? I bet you it's not gonna work. Oh, it worked. Turn my light on. Uh oh. Wait a minute. I need to heal myself real quick. Are you throwing shit at me? He's throwing shit at me. Oh boy. Beheaded. What the fuck was that? Oh god, two handed hit weapons are not great. Gang up! I made it. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. I mean, they killed everybody. Like, they straight up just wrecked everybody. <laughs> eh, I don't care about that bolter right now. Like, I don't know what they expected to happen. Okay, I see Susie over there. I'm just looking for other collectibles and grabbables. Susie? Carl, they, they 
took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Yeah, you did. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. I figured this was coming at some point. What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Alright, cue the spawned in zombies that teleport out of nowhere. Because that happens a lot in this game. Hey, uh... Oh, yeah, and there they are, right on cue. Fucking just, they just materialize whenever something happens in this game. Fucking zombies in this game. Whoa. Good job, like. Fuck off. That'd be cool. Fucking off would be great. Oh my god, there's more. They're multiplying. Holy shit. Can, can we not? Oh. of them. Except the big boy. He is upset. So confused. I, I I am so confused. I have no idea how I was getting hit or what by what. What the fuck? Would you fucking die? was weird that was definitely some kind of glitch or something uh yeah he was he was like Sophie, oh this is where the zombies are coming from taken. they're just like crawling through Probably the took him before you got there everything has gone wrong all right enough of this playing defense let's meet by jack and joe's camp on the roof by the overpass we're gonna go after carl and our crystals you jack fuck carl pay for this shit show wait why we gotta save carl Carl's the reason this shit happened. Aiden, how's it going? <laughs> you alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? <clears throat> I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned, they took Carl hostage. Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center. I, I still don't understand why we got to save Carl. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't get it. Why we got to save him. He seems to be a liability. <laughs> What 
job, Spony. All right. Uh, let's climb up here and get some more immunity back. Cool, it's not good time anymore. Daytime, bitches. Warrior. Oh, look, it's uh, what's his face? Hey, Harold? Herman. Herman. Not Harold. <laughs> Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here. You think she gonna send her personal bodyguard? They just lost like 10 people casually. Over an idiotic trade with fucking bandits, yo. <clears throat> What? Uh... Oh, he must be dreaming. Baby. Oh, God, Mia? it was Mia. If she calls me Aiden Babaden, I'm gonna lose my shit. Don't you say it. Mia, I'm warning you. Mia? 80's fine. You say Aiden Babaden one more time, I'm gonna crack Aiden, your skull. What's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? Mia. Oh Come my god. No. no, no, no. Oh. I just started tweaking. Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. They took a guy I could care less about hostage, so I'm going to save start. him. Exactly. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Yeah, your mom was in charge for a reason, and this place was held together when she was around for a reason. The reason Carl listened to her is because she was a leader. And you just letting this dude do whatever the hell he want, and he getting people killed. Why didn't you send Herman? Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. Oh, that's, a a good, that's actually a good reason. For him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me or I'm watching over him. That's actually, I mean, that's a good reason. I, I, I accept that reason. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. That's true. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I hope not. I see. So... What's your stupid brother Barney doing over there? You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. <laughs> He's a coward. He thinks rationally. <laughs> Those two are not mutually exclusive. Although thinking rationally often makes you make decisions that some people may consider to be cowardice. 
So, nice. what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. Man, I, I will Pilgrim fuck like you up. Don't talk to, to like me. Fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up. What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party, not a wake. Are you fucking serious? In case you change your mind. If I would have made it in time to help, are you fucking ki Can I can I it I want to kill this dude now. Ass, but we'll do something good for the city one day. Your sister sent them. Are you joking? Bertie, to your help. He's dead. I don't care about Birdie, man. Just if just you manage on. to take out those bandits. If yeah. I stay here much Jack any Cock longer than I Joe need to, Cunt. I'm a fucking strangle this dude. Think killing cock and cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph. Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. There was so more than die. that. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. There was way more people than that. Where, did, where did the other people don't get named? Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. No. It's about saving your life. Who the fuck is Ador again? Is that the uh That's the the CP got them. Dude, right? Real slow. Piece by piece. To Ralph, Susie, Ben Birdie. To our crew. Them the only three that matter, huh? Alright. Ah, uh, can I just like, can I just kill him now? Can I fuck him up now? No, I can't use my weapon here. Can I like snipe him from afar? God damn. I hate him so much. Uh, okay. All right, I gotta go talk to Aider. I think Aider is the PK dude. I can't remember though. Uh, I am not gonna make that jump. Maybe if I get up here, I can make that jump. That's gonna hurt though. Either way, like, even if I do make that, that's that's not gonna be good news for my legs. I hate situations like this where there's like no real way down. Oh wait, I can jump in here. Don't you scream, don't you do it. Yeah. Hello. See, like these things, they they're all big and bulky and you swing them with two hands and it feels impactful. But it takes too many damn hits and you run out of stamina too fast. My ass is awfully close to this fire. <laughs> I can feel the heat. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go talk to Aider. I, I, I seriously can't seem to remember who this guy is. Just gonna stand there, or will you come over? Yeah, it's PK, dude. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? What? You said you wanted me to get close to them. You've been watching when me I this whole time. Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. 
You've been watching me this whole time. You know the answer to that question. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too. Look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere. With a piece of your hide cut out. Sounds like Lucas was a piece of shit though, so... Just saying. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't yeah. trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. I don't really trust anybody in this game at this point. Like, the only person I kind of trust is the one dude who helped me at the beginning. But he's still trust the people of the bazaar. awfully absent in a lot of the stuff that's been going on in this game, too. So I don't know what the fuck he's actually been up to. But I don't really trust the peacekeepers or the uh, or the bazaar, to be perfectly honest. No one. Yeah. I am uh, very skeptical of most of the people I've talked to in this game thus far. So I think uh, what I'm probably going to end up doing, like the way I'm going to play this game is similar to how I played The Walking Dead before, is uh, if it helps me personally and the reward that comes out of it benefits me in some way then i'll do it regardless of who it's for because um i don't i don't trust none of these people oh shut up so yeah i'm gonna be i'm gonna be out for my own interests Sounds about right. Aiden, I, I can make this right. What, are oh. they like? what what stopped me? I did the sprint and then I got stopped by nothing. What? Oh, there we go. The most trustworthy thing I could ever tell any uh, someone is to never trust me. It looks like Sophie's not here. I better look for her. You must won't be. find it here. Dad, it's still early. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind, too. Huh? Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. That was a very odd exchange. And somehow I still walk away thinking she wants to fuck me. One thing. I need the one thing. 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 She, she pulled a little misdirection there, but... The Pilgrim and Barney. Me likey, but Barney and the Pilgrim flows better, don't you think? <coughs> oh God, please. You are inches away from death. Stop talking. I guess I have to talk to him. 
Hey, have you seen Sophie? I'm, I'm looking for Ah, oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. <sighs> Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling it music? <laughs> hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers. Barney's coming! And he's gonna kick your dairy ears. <laughs> My nigga just said dairy ears, man. I, I can't. Brains. I can't deal. I can't deal. Uh, Ask around and find out where Sophie went. I gotta get away from this dude, man. That thing. Who else am I supposed to ask? Sometimes you get it right. Hey, you. What? He can't even talk. Why well, I gotta talk to him? It's better for the world when you're quiet. Party's coming, and he's gonna kick your dairy. Not interested. Oh God. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... She said... The, uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Uh-huh. Something's wrong with... Uh, uh, not working with... Uh, it's broken. That, uh, uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why? <laughs> what do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? What? Uh, uh, what kind of question is that? I mean, sure, I've murdered many people in this game thus far, but... I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone. To find the only family. Listen I've ever to known. your father. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. Sounds One day, right. Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. Oh, boy. I know about this. There were others. Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. That's fucked up. What was the doctor's name? I bet you I know his name. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew. And no one at oh, the damn. hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Mm -hmm. Then I got a feeling that's who I'm looking for. Went to hell. 
the GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kit were sighted in the central loop, but not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. That's fucked up. I hope he's alive, and that you find him someday. All right. Can I like stop talking to people here now? Oh, there you are. Wait, what? Where I'm the here. fuck did you come from? How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces. Bertie, Ralph, to your hell. <coughs> I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning this of the fall? This motherfucker is shrunk. <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know oh what boy. loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Wait a second. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Was I not just talking to Sophie? Was she not literally right next to me before he just walked up? Why the fuck did I ask him where Sophie was? Is that weird? <laughs> she was just right next to me. I literally was just talking to her. And then I'm like, where's Sophie? And he's like, oh, she's Ooh. over there. I don't know. That just sounds. This seems kind of strange. That sequence of events there. Yeah. We'll see who gets who. How did I know she wasn't even behind me? <laughs> anyway. Apparently, the peacekeepers are watching us. Yes, they I'll are. Let them see what happens to Jack and Joe. And that we can do it to them, too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Bandit camps, huh? Okay. Approaching bandit camp, use your binoculars to identify entry points. 
locate the camp leader and identify potentially oh so this is uh this is some uh far cry type stuff here analog radio crystals um no i don't i don't know about that not many guards most are probably asleep there are a few entrances to the camp the front one suicide it's got the most guards you go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. So she's going down a dangerous path right now. Obviously, Carl is not fit to be leading. Uh, and there are some very tough decisions you have to make as a leader. But... And her idleness to do uh, in doing nothing while Carl basically kills half of the fucking place. She is now moving to the opposite extreme. And now she's like proactively like we need to start fucking people up to do shit. And uh, that's going to be problematic, I feel like, in the future here. She's not wrong. We do need to take care of the situation and we do need to take care of uh, these people because... You know, they they basically did this to themselves, but well, going through the front is definitely not the not the move. So what would be the uh, what would be the so that's the I'm guessing that's the leader. There's a bunch of man, there's so many effing bandits in here. There's also zombies just kind of in there, which is weird. You think they would clear those guys out. Maybe they got them in there as like deterrents. Oh, wow, I got a snitch up there. Snitch over there. Area entrance. I guess that'll be the way to go. Alright. Uh, it's advised to use stealth here. Press OK. Uh huh. Use the environment to strike your enemies, coins, bottles, pricks to make noise, draw attention, sneak behind them, and take them down. Unlock the stab combat skill. Oh well, shit. When do I get that? That's what change I was asking plan. earlier. Change a plan. Don't don't you fucking say change the plans after I just got down here, bitch. God damn it. Hold on. Fucking change the plans. Yeah, this is what I want. I want the stab. I'm Vader. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. <laughs> oh, shit. Duty scared the fuck out of me. You almost got your ass kicked, son. So we gotta kill the gang leader. Is that just one dude right there? Oh. one down there's a ton of people in here wait can i still see their positions with the uh, while i'm in the base like this yeah i can okay this big dumbass two-handed weapon i need to switch this thing out
Yeah, we'll do we'll do this hammer. Actually, no. We'll do the machete. You gotta be shitting me. Hang on. Something's not right. Hell no. somebody else oh that guy up there who else we got is that somebody down below zombies down below okay so I'm assuming I can look for resources and stuff while I'm uh, while I'm in here. Yeah, I need a tomahawk. Right in the back of the dome. I'll take a Bowie knife too. Take a fool's out. I got like a lot of pieces of gear, but. The like difference between them doesn't seem to be all that impactful, so like I don't really mess around with it too much. Alright, so there was the guy up here. I'm glad they just keep spears around so I can kill them easily. Like this guy. What the fuck all this shit? <laughs> Bye. Alright, uh Oh, to be fair, he did say fuck all this shit, so maybe, maybe he was just done with it all. I actually helped him. Alright, uh... Mostly all those other people are... Very far away. Anybody up here? Yes, there is. Oh shit, 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 shit. How? Who? Don't you do it. He's not above me anymore. How many guys are up here? Too fucking many. Hmm. All right, we got three people. Fuck this shit. this I really need to get rid of the siren dude like that's the that's like the important guy to take out cuz he can actually snitch the other ones I can just this is a shit post, man hold on let me will I be able to hit him from here probably not So I'm just gonna have to fucking There we go. There we 
go. And it's your turn. Oh boy had had the Trevor haircut. Looking like a champ. Where did he go? Is there any reason to climb up here? I feel like they wouldn't let you if there wasn't. Oh, come on. There you go. I was about to jump right off this fucking building. Is that it? Look, they're all zombies. Military airdrop? That sounds uh, like something that's worth my time. Right, we got some guys down here. Oh, there's a survivor down there. Man, this place is much bigger than one would think it would have been. Anybody up here? Oh, shit. I should have... I didn't know where it was going to stop. You got to kind of just go for it as soon as it gets up there. Whee! There we go. So what did that do exactly? Uh-oh. They're on the move. Why are they moving? Huh. Oh wait, are they all coming here to check on them? Is there like a safe way down? Oh yeah, there we go. That's one hell of a drop, either way. Here goes. Ah! What? Why are you just in the grass, man? Y'all can't help at all. They just, like, around. Alright, um... That's a dude down there. Fuck this place. What? Where did that come from? Can I? This looks ominous. Oh shit, where am I? Like, how did I... I am like... I think I'm going off the, off the rails here. Okay. Oh, nope, this actually led me right where I needed to be. Oh shit. Man, there needs to be ranged weapons in this game, dude. Can't wait till this is over. Me neither, to be honest. These stealth missions aren't as fun when you don't have like weapon. Okay, so seems like fucking him up will be pretty easy. Problem though is I don't want that fucking snitch to call in more people. That is the worst case scenario. This blows. Bandit Lieutenant. I mean, I guess I might as well just fucking yellow it. Like, I'm, I'm here. Like, 
And there's no way for me to get over to him in time to fucking take him out. Maybe I can. He doesn't seem to be paying attention. This oh shit. Blows. Oh, he sees me. I don't think I have enough throwing knives to take him out. I could try though. Who's dead now? Me? Don't you do it. Oh shit, did he throw something at me? You want some of this? My kick delayed. Let's do this. No mercy. Half fucking get it Oh, that's how you do power attack. Second, I got these. <laughs> Let's go. the asshole. Bruh. Chopping off heads in this game is very satisfying. Like, that was... That was great. I forgot I could do power attacks until, like... But power attacks are super nice because they're unblockable. Very helpful. Because a lot of enemies, uh, once you get one or two hits off them, um, they immediately start blocking anyway, so you can strategize on that one. Oh, look, another spear. Might as well clear this place out while I'm here. Get the human bastard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me all the stuff. What is this? Wait, wait, wait. After you claim the flag tower, all the loot inside the bandit camp will disappear. Oh, no, I don't want that. I'm glad I read that first. What kind of shit is that? Fuck, I'm glad I read that. I got some looting to do then. 
Uh, what's that? What is that? Oh, maybe it's just like a... So I gotta get to the top of this building and get that uh, military airdrop then. If I miss out on that military airdrop, I'm gonna be pissed. Open sesame. Alright, so, what's the move? All those platforms there? Is that the, is that the move? Alright. Uh. Oops. I need to get more stamina and more health and all that stuff. Now, how do you get up? There. There's definitely a way. It looked like there was a way. Alright, well, let's get back up here then. Is there a way upstairs in here? Uh, I can climb up there. No way up over there. There, there we go. Now we're getting some ways. Wait, now I unlocked a new skill. Tap R2 twice when... Oh, and look! The, uh... That's funny. The, um... The picture, the video, the little short clip they show you is for this yeah. exact scenario right here. That's funny. That is, uh... That's actually pretty funny. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. We got some Ranger gloves, some MRE rations. And whatever the F is in here. Cool beans. <laughs> I think that's all the important stuff. Calm down, dude. Jesus Christ. So, like, here's all the gear. And like I said, like, you get a lot of this shit, but, like, the, the difference between them is, like, so ridiculously minimal that it's hard to be, like, kind of going through and trying to, you know, min-max and... Pick the best stuff, because they're all just kind of meh. Eh. Guess these are kind of better. Less health regen. 27. 26. Yeah. Yeah, there's too many of these things for it to be so... What's this? Damage with two-handed weapons. Yeah. Yeah. None of that stuff seems to really be impressive or stand out at all. All right. So I liberated the camp. What? Why did you climb up on it? What? What? Do I have to? Okay. That was, that was weird. I think I got all the loot that I care about. 
Let's liberate this bad baby. And then I gotta go to the bathroom. Zombie Slayers baseball team. That's right. I can't now. I ain't see no Jack and Joe though. Did I kill them? If I did, uh, they didn't really detail that in any way. Bravo, Pilgrim. The Greenwood family. Anyway, it's about six o'clock now, guys. So I think I need to stop now because uh, dinner's got to be cooked. My little one's gonna be waking up from her nap pretty soon, so. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll probably I'll be streaming this later on today. Um, at the at the usual time, I tend to stream games. So uh, if you want to see more, you know where to find me. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys then.